global match fixing. Now, there's a very tall man seated to my right, so we'll continue with the sports theme. And uh, in recent years, basketball has taken a backseat to football in Nigeria. In the 1980s and 1990s, the country's teams used to challenge for continental trophies on a regular basis. But they only managed seventh position at this year's African Basketball Championships. One man who hopes to change all that is the captain of the current Nigerian team, Olumide Oyedeji. He is a set-up basketball clinic in Nigeria in the hope that he'll discover the next crop of dunking superstars. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me here. Right. Would you agree with me that uh, Nigerian basketball has been on the decline in the last 20 years? Oh, probably, pro I disagree with you. I can say for the last <laughs> couple of years, uh, we've been moving up. Uh, the latest of FIBA ranking, we rank at number 17 in the world. So we're from number 21, we've been to the World Championship. We were in the Olympic last year, we came ninth. We qualify, and the first African team to qualify for that kind of, for the tournament in the Olympic qualifying tournament. So right now, I think we're going forward. I don't know whether Peter you know, would agree with you. <laughs> here because, you know, when I was growing up in, in Nigeria, um, I used to go to watch basketball matches. I never went to go and watch football, but that's not the case now. And a lot of people, in fact, argue that most of the people, uh, most of the players in the Tigers, that's the Nigerian national team now, have never even been to Nigeria before they all play in America. <laughs> well, probably, I mean, yeah, I, I disagree with that because everybody that plays for Nigerian national team, they are all Nigerian. They are all Nigerian national. Who were yeah. born abroad but haven't been home. I mean, no matter where you're born, <laughs> as long as you're Nigerian, you're Nigerian. Okay. And everybody is there to promote the image of the country, to promote the image of the game, and to put a smile on the faces of every Nigerian and all of the fans in the world. So, well, I mean, you've started this foundation, obviously, um, to introduce basketball to younger uh, young children in Nigeria. Just tell us a little bit about it. What exactly are you doing with it? I probably have a Illuminati Youth Foundations and uh, I use a basketball sport and academics to give them hope and to give them, uh, to take them off the street, you know, so, and um, that was what I went through the same thing that basketball and sports gave me life, give me name of him, and um, everything I mean, I deserve and I, I hope in life. So I believe there's a lot of youth, a lot of kids can get the same opportunity. So I'm gonna try to give this opportunity to them. Uh, and uh, what, what kind of response are you getting from these children who don't really have much time? Oh, probably right now, I've been doing this for 13, 14 years right now. I've seen that from this, from this group of kids that started about 14 years ago, some are playing in the NBA, okay. some are playing, playing in the college. Some of them probably being a doctor, be a lawyer right now. They've been all over the world. So there's been some improvement. But there's a, a presenter on Focus in Africa called Komla Dumo, and he showed us uh, some time back his basketball <laughs> skills. Let's have a little uh, clip of that. There you are. That's Komla trying to... What's that he was doing exactly? Well, he was spinning it on his <laughs> finger, you know. And um... So we want you to show us your skills, whether you can beat him. Oh, probably, I mean, I can see, I can give him this ball to spin. <laughs> he's a god, I'm a center. So show us something, gets... you've got to show us something before I mean, you. You have to bring the oop here so I can slam them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, I can't, I can't do what I, I mean, I can't do as much as he do, uh -huh. but I mean, I see this, so. Whoa! <laughs> So it's right there. So maybe your turn there. Uh, well, well, I'm not going to try. Maybe Peter oh. will. I'll just go home with the ball. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much indeed for coming in to talk to us here on Focus on Africa. And all the best. Oh, thank you for having me here. Thank and thank you. you for listening. Okay.